March 13th, market replay. It was a boring day today, a slow and boring day. Sometimes those are the hardest days. And we have one particular spot that tripped up pretty much everybody. So we're going to get to it here. Let's see if it sets up on the market replay the way it did in real life. Basically, it does. So let's see. Yeah. And then if you keep going with it, you see that that happens. So this is, I mean, really, today was so slow and boring. This is the main thing I'm going to talk about. It might be one of the only things I talk about. Just barely would have got stopped out there. So <clears throat> what you've got is what would normally be a pretty good entry. And I think in real time it looked even better. Uh, but that, I mean, that's a pretty awesome signal bar follows the rules you got a first failed entry and then you get a second failed entry short and you think you're gonna be in the money and then so so what happened right why did that second entry short with the golden signal bar fail well in the big picture which you don't have at this point in time, so there's nothing you can do about it. But the big picture, the reason why it failed is because this is a range day and that was a significant point of resistance. But that's not a satisfying answer, right? Because at the time, you don't have any of that information and it just fails and... <laughs> and then you get frustrated, right? So. I mean, after the fact, you can always find reasons not to take a trade while why maybe you shouldn't have taken it. Um, when I was doing this in the morning, I had what would normally be an unfortunate event that turned into probably a, a fortunate event where around here, my internet connection dropped out for about 20 minutes and then it came back somewhere in here. So I missed this, I never saw this setup. It never happened for me. And then my market data was different and weird. And and uh, so I never got to see this trade. So I don't know if, uh, if this had, you know, if I saw this in real time, I might've taken that. Cause it, it I mean, it looks great. So, uh, but while this was setting up, this is where my trend line was, was on this. And then I saw this as a break of that trend in a new low and then I lose my internet connection but if that hadn't happened the question is is would I have seen that as a break in a new low seen these couple dojis and then even with this awesome signal bar uh, would I have avoided that trade and not got caught in the trap and what a lot of you guys have is that so not only is it a second entry a failed second entry short but it's also coming off your trend line so it looks even better at that point um, I mean the trend line doesn't match up exactly there and if on this yeah on this chart that's pretty much the way you're gonna draw that trend so I mean what can you really say other than sometimes you lose and that's I know that's not the most wonderful satisfying uh, answer because you're looking I mean you were looking for it to come down probably to here so you think you have or here so you think you've got plenty of room so the only thing I t can tell you other than an after the fact yeah you had a break here and then you had these couple dojis so yeah you don't take it 
We'll just talk about mindset, I guess, after that fails. Because you're going to have losers. Even Mac has losers. There's nothing you can do to avoid it. Um, and in the past, this kind of thing would have really frustrated me. Because I wouldn't understand why it failed. I would have been excited, you know, especially at the beginning that I recognized such a good setup. And then, you know, <laughs> never get tired of that sound effect. <laughs> but um, so in the past, honestly, I would have beat my head over this trying to figure this out. I wouldn't have liked probably the explanation that Matt gave. I wouldn't have been satisfied with it no matter what that explanation would have been, right? And, you know, something like this could have probably almost brought me to tears over it, like, because uh, you work so hard and then that happens. But all I can tell you now is at this point, when something like this happens, you just let it go as quickly as possible because you know the strategy works. So if you believe in the strategy, if you've been following the strategy, you know it works and you know over time it makes money and that this is rare, which is why it was such a big deal today. Um, you just let it go and you count it as the one loser that gets you closer to more winners. You know, if you're tracking your winning percentage and you know it's at a certain percentage, let's just say it's at 80% just for fun. So you're really good, and it's at 80%. And then this happens, and you're like, what the hell? You can't get that worried about it because you know that, okay, so I, you know, two out of 10 go bad, but I've got eight good ones coming up. And it, it just doesn't phase you, and you don't focus on it, and you just say, big deal, the market got me, and then I'll move on. And so that's the best advice I can give. Um, because I used to beat myself up over that kind of thing and get really frustrated and question the strategy and say maybe this stuff's not all it cracked up to be and all of that. Um, but I know this stuff works. I see it work every day. One anomaly is not enough to worry about because if you had continued to follow the strategy although today is a really horrible example because it's so slow and boring. Um, in real time, this was a, a nice second entry, short. There was a first entry here, and then it failed, and then a second entry short. And so you could have taken that one, and then this is more risky, but this is the one I actually took with my goofy data that I had. Um, you know, you get another lower high, so you come down, you get this first lower high, you get another lower high, you can draw a trend line through it, and I was kind of waiting on it, and then I dropped a limit order. After it broke down here, I dropped a limit order in, got in, and then it came down and got me out. Um, then you would have made up for it right there and right there, and you would have already got back to even because the strategy works and you follow the strategy and you don't worry about this and then you know even if you didn't take those two trades there's still going to be others if you were following the the uh, range that was happening you know you had a chance to get long here and you would have got out and then it shortly sets up for another nice long shortly after that and you would have got out um, and that's it like if you followed Fortune Loop's last video, and you saw the trades he took. Um, he took a bad one early, and then immediately he saw the good setup, took that one, uh, and then took another one, you know, and then he made up for it in no time flat because he knows the strategy works, and he knows that he's put in the time and the effort to get good at this. And so there you go. And maybe I'm harping on this thing too long, but I'm doing that because because I used to beat myself up so much about it in the past and it would frustrate me and then I might even have to take a break. You know, I'd be like, I, I can't look at this stuff for a week because now I'm questioning whether this is any good at all or I've just been fooling myself the whole time. So don't do that. Let it go. It's not a big deal. Um, you probably won't see something like that again for months. 
So that's it. That's it for today. And just for one more time, just because it's fun. Mm-hmm.